Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. I am Astraf, and I welcome you to this. Oh yes. Swords and Sandals game made, I believe, in 2006 or so. Can't remember exactly when, uh, because, well, it's been a long time, to be honest. Um, but it is a game, as you can see, proudly presented by Fizzy.com, created by... Fizzy.com and Third Sense. Uh, it's a flash game. Uh, it's very good. You can buy it. Um, and it spawned six games overall. One, two, three, four, five, and Crusaders. Um, including one multiplayer as well. Anyway, so, in this game, you can create a gladiator and fight to the death. The first game is, by far and away, probably the toughest. Um... Because it's short, but it's tremendously difficult. Anyway, let's create a new gladiator. Yep, I'm sure. Okay, here's our gladiator, as you can see. You need to create a gladiator to fight in the arena. You can customize your gladiator's appearance and edit their strengths and weaknesses by clicking the buttons on the left. Okay, well, he has a name, which is nameless. Ha! So, his skin color, he can be lighter, he can be darker, he can be blue. <laughs> And now you know where this is going. Blue, blue, blue. Uh, green, green, green. Yellow, orange, red. Purple. Or white. Right, let's, um, I'm gonna make him ordinary, uh... No, I'm gonna make him white, actually. I'm gonna make him albino. Um, hairstyle. Okay, let's see what we can give him. Police has to. Whoa, okay. Uh, great. Uh, wow. Okay, that's just hilarious. Uh, Let's make him an old geezer. Yes. Let's make him an old geezer. Yeah, this is gonna be a great idea. Oh, God. Look at that for a mustache. Really bad. He's gotta have a mustache, I think. That looks quite cool, to be honest. He looks weird. Why'd you look like that? Let's give him, um, yeah, that looks good to me. Actually, do you know what, though? No, let's... No, 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 that was, that was good to me, to be honest. Um, let's go for a big, bushy beard. No, let, let's go for that moustache, shall we? <laughs> what the hell is this? Okay, uh, now, we've got, as you can see here, seven skills. First, we have strength. Strength determines how much damage your character dishes out. It also affects the height and weight of your character. Strong characters can push weaker characters further. Nice. Agility represents your character's speed. Fast characters can move into and out of combat more easily and perform spectacular acrobatic leaps. Great. Uh, your attack score is your overall offensive weapon skill. Gladiators with high attack tend to hit their enemies more often, finding gaps in armor with masterful precision. Uh, defense. Defense is a vital part of protecting yourself in combat. A high defensive score means you get hit less. Uh, vitality represents your overall health. For every vitality point you uh, you add, you'll receive 7 hit points. Each time you level up, you also receive 7 hit points. Gladiators with high vitality take a lot longer to kill. Charisma uh, reflects your overall charm and likability. Characters with high charisma please the crowd, winning you more gold after winning fights. Shopkeepers will lower their prices by 2% for every charisma point you have. Very useful, that is. And stamina. Every leap, every parry, or hack you perform in the arena takes some of your energy. More powerful attacks and leaps really sap your energy. The higher your stamina, the faster you'll recover both, enemy, uh, both energy and your health. If your energy runs low, your character will miss a turn and fall asleep. Yeah, fall asleep during combat. Great idea. Okay, so let's go for some strength, shall we? Because strength is really important. Uh, let's go for some attack. Because that's also very important. Vitality as well. Alright, let's go for that, shall we? I think that's a good idea. Let's let's go for that. Uh, name! Hmm. What should I call you? I want to call you some, like, Reginald. Reginald. I didn't ask how you spell Reginald. Now we'll go for that. Okay, let's call you Reginald. What's like a... 
What's like an oldie English surname? I don't know. I got it. I got it. How about let's just call him... Uh, there you go. Uh, Reginald Higginbottom is his name. He is the greatest gladiator of all time. Our story begins aboard a pirate galleon sailing a trackless sea in the realm of Brandle. You're a pirate, doing what pirates do best, getting drunk and singing sh sea shanties. The galleon sails blindly into the night until fate takes his turn. As razor-sharp ice tears through the ship's hull, your crew panic. Water fills the cabin. All is lost. The crew abandon the ship and plunge into the icy seas, including you. Yeah, oh, look at that for a jump. And he's dead. Yep, he's going down with the ship. Poor guy. You find yourself the lone survivor. Your companions have all been swept away into the deep. Wow, just us. Brilliant. Salvation in the form of a crow's nest. You drift onwards, ever onwards, and don't run out of food randomly, and don't die of starvation or thirst. Don't drink the salt water, mate. On the third day since the shipwreck, you spot an island in a distance. What malice is this? Man, we ran up there quickly. Herein lies the fabled arena of Doom Trek. Your greatest challenge awaits. Okay, so that is our plot. We were a pirate. We're not a pirate anymore because our entire crew is dead. Anyway, your adventure starts here in the town square. Before you enter the arena, you should visit the armory and the weaponsmith and stock on a weapon and some armor. Click on one of the buildings nearby to enter or click the Coliseum to jump straight into battle. Okay, so here's our basic stuff. We have the weaponsmith here, this guy here, Louis de Loungeville, Master at Arms. Okay. We can buy some weapons here, uh, swords, axes, or maces. As you can see, some of them are greyed out. Uh, until we reach a specific level, we can't get those. We can get a dagger, three to nine slashing damage, not bad, for 197 gold. We have, as you can see here, 1,000 gold. So that's good. Uh, the axe is a cleaver, three to nine damage, 203 gold, a bit more. And the blackjack, 200 gold for... A bashing damage. Okay. Also, if you didn't buy anything, you'll upset Louis. Louis well. Don't worry, that's only temporary. He'll be happy when you next visit. Alright. Now the armory. Yes. Welcome to the Golden Shield. The official armory of the arena. So. Oh, wow. We want to go a breastplate? Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. We've actually... Wow, I didn't even know that. Did we go through? Okay, just because we went through the intro, does that mean that we got this? Really, I usually skip the intro. Well, that's great. That's giving us a great start. Anyway, so here obviously you can get items for defense. Doesn't increase your health, but it does increase your defense. Uh, as usual, some of the stuff is grayed out because we don't have enough. Uh, although we're not a high enough level. At the moment, we are level one, I believe. Yes, Reginald Higginbottom. Uh, yes. Anyway, so, we could buy boots, shin guards, greaves, gauntlets, shoulder guards, breastplate, helmet, and shields. We're gonna leave for the moment. You angered the blacksmith by not buying anything. Fear not, however. He has a short memory. He'll be happy to take your business next time you visit. Great! Let's enter the arena. So here is our first opponent, Ramus. Definitely not Lupin. Um, yeah. Your first opponent. Surely your enemy for a while. Study your enemy for a while. Then when ready, click the button in the bottom right corner of the screen to enter the arena. So, uh, in the arena, as you can see, we've got a bit, we've got some stats here. Um, now, as you can see, uh, if you have, sort of like a tell of the tape stat thing, really. Um, green means that you're superior in stat to your opponent. Uh, and yellow means you're even. So, as you can see, apart from stamina, we have a huge advantage here. Uh, more armor, more hit points, more strength, more attack, and more vitality. Same in agility, defense, and charisma, but he's got more stamina, so we might need to watch out for that. We are 5'8", and we are 175 pounds. He is 5'2". Ah, even shorter than me in real life! Ha! Ah, you're a midget, Ramus! And 123 pounds, which means he's also lighter than me. Anyway, never mind, let's fight! So, we've got six commands here. We can leap backwards which allows us to jump backwards. 
Leap forwards. We've got to leap forwards. Uh, walk forwards. Walk backwards. These all drain your energy. Walking forwards or walking drains your energy less than leaping, but obviously you don't go as far. Uh, taunting. Okay, so with taunting, you can do a variety of different things depending on your charisma. Uh, you can deal damage with taunts. You can push them back or you can anger them. Um, angering them means that they will uh, charge at you, uh, effectively wasting their turn. As you can see, there's also a hit percentage on each of these. Um, obviously, the higher the hit percentage, the more chance you've got of hitting. So, let's fight. As you can see, there's our health, there's our energy, so... And there's his. So, technically, he's got more stamina, but he's only got... He's not got much more stamina than us. Right, let's go. Ow, and I just got punched in the face. Okay, charge. Yeah, 11 damage. Take that. That's our strength getting involved, though. Now, we're uh, close up. You can do a charge attack, but... Obviously, there's a big aim penalty with charge attacks. Um, we can go for a quick attack, normal attack, or a powerful attack. So, a powerful attack uh, saps a lot of energy. And it's the least likely to hit, but it will inflict the most damage. Normal attack, a standard hack, thrust, or bash. Your chance of hitting is based on several factors, including your attack versus your opponent's defense and random chance. Yeah, it's a random chance game, this is sadly. And a quick attack. These attacks don't use much energy and have the highest chance of doing damage. However, quick attacks will only do minimal grazing damage to your opponent. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I missed anyway. Let's try again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a huge graze. Huge graze. Just just devastating graze of... Come on, his heart popped out of his chest. He's dead. He's dead to me, Ramus. That's my phone. Never mind. Anyway, we have won our first battle, Reginald Higginbottom has won. And as you can see, we have leveled up. We've got some experience and some gold we've won. Anyway, we have leveled up. Whenever we level up, um, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Indeed. Anyway, so, uh, every time we level up, we gain three skill points to add here. So, what are we going to pick? Well, let's pick, let's pick strength for two and, hmm. Let's go stamina for one. Let's see how we do with that. Okay. Next battle. We're against Chief Wooden. Pretty much the same height and weight as that last guy. Uh, but he's got more charisma and more agility. So we need to worry about him jumping away and using taunt attacks, pretty much. Uh, the only other thing he... Well, we tied in defense. But apart from that, I have everything. He has 21 health, so he's a bit stronger. He also has a weapon, which is a... Uh, uh, a cleaver, I believe. Anyway, so obviously we don't have a weapon. Whoa! Okay, okay. Um, decimation. Brilliant. Anyway, as we leveled up again, which is brilliant. So, uh, what are we gonna do this time? Let's go for attack for two, and let's go for strength again. Uh, every time, obviously, we get a strength upgrade, we do. Uh, well, we get. Well, we kind of, you know, get bigger. We get a lot bigger. Anyway, let's hit him the arena again. Okay. We're against the Wolfgang of Shackleford. You have risen through the gladiator ranks and now have been invited to do battle with the first and least of the arena champions. A restless scoundrel who goes by the name of Wolfgang of Shackleford. So the Wolfgang of Shackleford, 5'5", five five, 149 pounds. We are 6 foot tall, 214 uh, let's just get this over with quickly, eh? I just want to go back to the damn pub. Yeah, don't worry. So do I, mate. So do I. Anyway, so, as you can see in this battle, uh, we have more strength. He has more agility. Same attack. He has more defense. We got more vitality. He's got more charisma and stamina. So, got to watch out for that. We do have more armor and health. So, let's have a look and see how we do. He also has a weapon. It's called a shamrock, I believe. So, we do need to be careful of that weapon. Let's taunt him. Aha! Five damage return. Ah, God. Okay. Yeah! 16 damage. Oh, I think we've got this. I think we've got this. Keep attacking. Come on. One damage. Charge attack. Yes! Got him! Wolfgang of Shackleford is dead. Now, when you beat an arena champion, you can take their weapon. Your reward for the fight is the Wolfgang of Shackleford's weapons to the Shamrock. Your current weapon, fists, do uh, 2 to 4 damage. Uh, bashing damage. This weapon does five, uh, 5 to 19. Do you want to take this weapon? Your old weapon will be lost. Hells yeah! 
Yeah, we now have a new powerful weapon and we've leveled them again. Brilliant. Don't ask for the light load, but rather ask for a strong back. Indeed. There's some weird sort of like quotes. Anyway, never mind. So, uh, let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's go for Vitality 1, Strength 2. Why not? Alright, so, how much have we got now? That's a lot. I'm going to leave it for the moment, but I'm going to go to the arena and see how we... Ooh, okay, this guy's got an awesome beard. Uh, Pollux Cheshire is his name. My favourite football team is actually from Cheshire, so, yeah. Anyways, 5 for 5, uh, 149 pounds. We are now 6 foot 3. Yes, we are an old, wizened old man. We're still growing. That's what gigantism does to you, apparently. Anyway, we beat him in every stat apart from defense and agility. We've got to watch out for his defense. He will be able to block attacks, which is not nice, but he's pretty much naked. So we should be able to get some attacks. And see, we got a shamrock there. Look at that. That's awesome. Oh, God. Okay. Take. Oh, my God. 37 damage. 37 damage with a charge attack. That wasn't even a critical either. Oh, you are so screwed, buddy. You are so dead. Yep. Yeah. There goes your heart. Well, you're not going to be able to live without that, are you, buddy? Anyway, Pollux Cheshire is defeated. And we level up again. Let's go for attack one. Strength one. Vitality one. Why not? We're going good so far. All right. Okay. Another arena champion. We're now 6 for 5. 253 pounds. We're a badass man. Okay, so we're against Boson Smythe. Your efforts in the arena have caught the attention of this salty sea dog by the name of Boson Smythe, a long serving arena champion who reeks of rum and barnacles. Great. I've not been sober in thrice in seven weeks. Another guy that wants to go to the pub, pretty much. Sorry, your mustache doesn't compare to mine. Mine's like a silver color. I am the silver fox, Reginald Higginbottom. Anyway, um. I'm going to give this a go, to be honest. I haven't actually bought anything yet, but I'm going to give this a go. I've got more health. Oh, okay. That's bad. Oh, God. We might die here. I think we're dead. I think, uh, yep, I think we're dead. Oh, he pushed me. How dare you? On guard, bitch. On guard, ho. Oh, God. Ah, no, I died. That's not good. Anyway, when you die... Both despite defeat Reginald Higginbottom, and so it is your life as a gladiator has come to a glorious end. You won five battles and defeated a first arena champion. Nice. And as you can see, you go back to the start, but you can load your character back up again. So, let's go to the armory and buy some shit. Alright, so what do we need? A helmet, possibly? Might need a helmet. Or a shield. Shield would be good. Okay, let's get a shield. Let's get a shield. We haven't got any gauntlets yet, so let's get some of those. And, damn it, we haven't got enough for a helmet. Okay. That kind of sucks. Do we have any greaves? We got shin guards. We haven't got any greaves, I don't think. Let's get those. Yeah! Okay. Uh, right. This is better shoulder guard. It gives me a slight upgrade. And that's actually uh, brigand boot, which we can't even get yet, but we apparently have. How much we got? 457. Could get that. A noob helmet. No, I think I'm going to leave it for the moment. Uh, thanks, buddy. Anyway, I'm going to go for a break here, but the next episode, let's play Swords and Sandals. We get our revenge on Boson Smythe. See you then.